The future of NPCs in video games is about to get very interesting. This is an Unreal demo created by Replica Studios, and what we're going to find here is AI-powered NPCs. That means the ability to have full-on conversations with them. So what you're telling me is that the creators made all the people in this city mean? Oh, honey, you think I have any idea what the creators are up to? I'm just trying to survive in this rat race. It's honestly very surreal, the ability to just stop any random NPC and have full-on real-world conversations with them. Conversations where they understand context and can also reply to you accordingly. So what do you do in the city? Just trying to distract myself from my problems. I'm sorry to hear that. What's your problems? It's just everything feels so pointless and meaningless. And yeah, sometimes those conversations can feel a little bit too real. It seems that at least a good portion of the NPCs in this city are either down or a little depressed. But that said, there's also quite a few friendly NPCs out there as well. Can I ask you about my dream? Sure, but it'll cost you. Okay, I'll pay you a million bucks. Here it is. Oh no, I can't accept that. I don't want to be audited by the IRS. <laughs> okay, here's ten bucks instead. Well, that's more my style. I can buy myself a coffee with that. <laughs> How great is that? So, about my dream. I dreamt I was an NPC in a city. Well, I'm certainly not a dream to... But I am a nook in a city. Ah, so you're an NPC. Got it. I'm just a computer-generated character. Living my best virtual life in this city. I've spoken to other people in this city who aren't happy about being an NPC. Well, they say ignorance is bliss, but I prefer to embrace my virtual existence with a smile. That's fair enough. What about me? Well, you seem to be doing just fine in the Matrix, but I'm not sure about your real life outside of it. My real life is fine. I'm on YouTube. I'm making this into a video. Oh, perfect. I always wanted to be a YouTube star. Do I get royalties? No, but here's another ten bucks. Hey, with all these bucks you're throwing my way, I might just be able to afford a new virtual wardrobe. Hey, why not say hello to the viewers? Hey there, virtual world. It's your favorite nephew, Gary. Floating left from the Matrix. Now, I think you'll notice that that isn't entirely perfect. It misunderstood a few things I said, and a few occasions the voice sounded somewhat robotic. But I think we can all admit that this is very impressive technology, especially considering that this is very likely the worst it will ever be. It can only get better from this point forward. Of course, I want to be very clear that I'm not for one moment advocating that we replace voice-acted NPCs or voice-acted characters. Voice actors bring a whole load of life to games, and I really don't think they should ever be replaced. What I'm talking about here is the background NPCs that we see in games such as World of Warcraft, where all of their dialogue is essentially text, or the NPCs we find roaming the streets in GTA V, the ones who never say anything or that you can't directly interact with. Just imagine how much it will change those games if you could directly interact with those NPCs, have in-world conversations with them, where they fully understand what you're saying and can reply accordingly, even if sometimes those responses are somewhat unexpected. Hey, Bain, excuse me, where are you heading? Oh, please don't rob me. I'm just <laughs> wandering the streets, thinking in the sights. So, yeah, that was a case where the NPC completely misunderstood what I'd said. But even still, what's impressive about this is that when that happens, the NPCs don't just completely foul or give you an error. Instead, they reply in interesting ways. In fact, no matter how much you try to trip them up, you're always going to get some type of response from the NPCs. Hey there, do you have any quests? I wish I could help you, but I have my own journey to complete. Oh, does that mean you're a player? I've been looking for one of those. I am not a player. There. I am my own person. So, clearly at the moment, this is just a proof of concept. It is a very basic demo. But just imagine what happens when these NPCs are fed all the knowledge and understanding they need of the game world that surrounds them. You know, I'd be very surprised if that ultimately uh, this isn't the future of some of the bigger games. It's also interesting to see that an NPC along these type of lines has been modded into Skyrim very recently. 
and I fully expect to see similar NPCs modded into Starfield when that game arrives. Now you're probably wondering how all of this works. Well unfortunately I can't give you a deep dive into that but I can give you a very high level overview. We break this into two parts. Firstly how it's represented in game. You may have noticed throughout the footage there's been a bunch of jump cuts where I'm interacting with the NPCs and this is because of a delay where the game has to get the speech back from the server. Let's take a look at that. Hey excuse me can you tell me where I can buy a coffee? Can't you see I'm busy? Excuse me, how can you talk? Oh, I have a very active imagination. As you can see then, the response times for this vary from conversation to conversation. And there's also another small delay where the gamer needs to interpret your voice and turn that into text. Now as for the second part of this, and as you're probably expecting, the dialogue that's returned and spoken by the NPCs is provided by the company behind ChatGPT, OpenAI. Their platform has API access to a variety of their services, including a GPT-3 as well as GPT-4. Now, both of these are powered by large language models, or LLMs. These are type of artificial intelligence that are trained to understand and generate human-like text. They're trained on vast amounts of data, such as books, articles, and websites, which also allows them to, well, learn the patterns and structures of human language. This knowledge enables them to generate text that closely resembles the text they were trained on. And when you interact with an AI system powered by an LLM, it's using this model to generate its responses based upon the input you provide. In essence then, LLMs are the engines that drive the dynamic human-like interactions we see in advanced AI systems. And that's exactly what's going on here when you talk to these NPCs. The bottom line is that they literally can understand what you're saying to them and they can understand context as well. They also have some limited short-term memory because they can remember previous parts of the conversation. Now, LLMs are being used pretty much everywhere nowadays. Generative AI is a very big deal and it's taken over many different industries. There's a lot of controversy around this, a lot of ethical concerns as well, because in some respects, it's far from ideal and it's going to cause probably a lot of social issues. But it also means there's a lot of brand new opportunities that will just dramatically change things. And that will include video games very likely, especially NPCs and how we interact with our games. It's very difficult to predict exactly what that means, but this demo definitely gives us a bit of insight as to just what that might look like. Now, the demo is still available, although the official web page seems to be a 404 ing at the moment. There is another website though, another page, the official blog, where you can download this from. I'll link that in the video description. And it does still seem to be working as well, so I'm not sure why the web page is 404 ing or maybe it will hopefully be fixed by the time you look at this. Either way, you should be able to download it and check it out. This is all entirely free to use. Do take a look, it's pretty impressive, and let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time.